here, here this area is a village which is not a building. And then we come, this place right now is developed. And we thank God. And then we see the excellencies, Governor Olegos said, come and do us road and light everything. All people, they are happy for him. What is the benefit? The, uh, yes, I said that we are very happy because we are together with the chairman of local government and everything. That's why we are happy. What we see, then we thank God. What do you see? It was uh, good well water and then uh, it do already this was road and then we do us um, um, I don't I don't know what I'm saying because government you don't do everything to us. <laughs> You don't do let them to sell it in the night, they are night they are very happy to sell it in the night now. Now that is light. Now they are light, yes. Is the light regular? Uh, it's regular. I, I think it's regular, Abi. Mm, it's, it's regular. So the light is okay. I thank God. And they were very happy to the government. How do you see Governor Bala Tunobu administration? If you say you will be teacher, I want to Give him mark. What mark will you give him? Well, uh, I did Lagos almost 20 years. I never see the type of government who, do, what, the work government do, I like her. Because if you see the whole Lagos now, everywhere, everywhere, if it's street or road, all government start to do it. I will thank God. And the light's okay. What advice? The advice we say, if you come another election, we go select him more again. <laughs> Inshallah. In fact, the station is very worse, was very worse before, but now it is okay. Even before, there is no ride, motor cannot enter through this area, but now it's now free. Motor used, used to enter here always, and they used to pass, and it's very good. The light is regular. And uh, in fact, people are doing uh, their business very fine. So, you know, usually here uh, we used to do our business early morning, like from five to six, and that time still light day. Yeah, light is always regular. We thank God for that. Ah, it's very very good for security. You know, before the whole place is dark, but now everywhere there's light. So there's no thief, nothing again, because police can pass through, you know, they always go around the security agents, they always go around, so we're very, very happy, we're very happy with that. They are looking at Black Swamp University two years ago. Ah, in fact, in, in fact, in fact, I can say Wola Tinimbu is the best governor in the whole Nigeria, because he has tried a lot, he has tried a lot, and we are very happy with him, we are very happy with him, because our people in this area, they didn't expect something like this. But when we see something like that, we are very, very happy. And by the grace of God, next election, we are going to vote for him. By the grace of God. Nobody can stop us from voting for him. And because we sure say he will do more than this for us, by the grace of God. What advice do you have for him? Bolatinimbu. And the advice I have for him is just to carry on for what he's doing now. To do more. So that people will now vote for him without any listing. Yeah, that's only my advice. Thank yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was hectic. We found it difficult for pedestrians, that is, those who use the road by legs, to make good use of it. Uh, several times we spent a lot on filling the potholes. There was a time from the junction there down to the other end was bushy. There was no way for anybody to go, either motor or whatever it is. The light, the light has brought joy to us because we were totally in darkness. This place seems to look as if uh, people, uh, those, the outcast people, I can call them, because it seems we were cut out of the state. But with the light, we are okay. And it also helped us by driving away some of these uh, hoodlums. You know, you know, under darkness, they practice their evil, uh, this thing. So for this reason, with the light, you, we are now very free to move freely anytime. In what areas do you see things in the government? Uh, very good. We still need government assistance in the case of a water supply. Because we have a series of cases of typhoid fever 
being caused by bad water. We use a ball, I mean, what do I call it, deep wells, which are not all that uh, purified. Here, and uh, there are cases of uh, uh, typhoid fevers and so many cases like diarrhea and other things. So in this case, we still appeal to the governor if he could help us, because already there is a pipe, water pipe passing through our doorstep here. If the government can as well help us for that. If you meet Governor Sinobu one on one, what advice will you If I meet him face to face, well, first of all, I will thank him for his being able to handle the case or the affairs of the state. Then my advice to him is that he needs to create some uh, licensing offices in some area offices in form of uh, people who can easily go around to understand the people and in turn give reports back to him. This will help his administration, not only to rely on the chairman of the local government alone. Given the fact that he is two years in office, how can you assess that administration? Uh, well, well, I can say, you know, you cannot just give somebody 100%. I can say it's 99.5% better than any other governor. Otherwise, it's more than 1,000%. Thank you. And uh, please, I will also be uh, the vice chairman of the CDA, though this light is not extended to the community as a whole. Only the market communities enjoy it. The community as, as a body is suffering. We are in darkness. For the past two weeks now, we've not been having light. Even more than that, sir. So I will appeal to the governor since the... The what do you call it? The street light is no. I mean the uh, which is, since it is on and around us, they should please just give us a drop down at the junction there. We have applied for uh, transformer several times. Even presently, our application is still with the NEPA, and you know what Nigeria is. So I'm appealing on behalf of the chairman, I mean of the CDA, to please for the governor to please kindly help us with matter of urgent. Thank you. May God bless you. So, get my binu kai kora ba mi mu.
salary, the pleasure. They want to ask me about these two flights. Are they really working? As a matter of fact, for now they are actually working. Unlike some few months back, we've been, I mean, the street light has been, you know, off. But, um, I mean, for three or four months ago, some guys from electricity board came. And since they came to rectify the whole thing, except where there is uh, never failure, the lights have been functioning. Uh, what will you say about the vandalization, like this pole? Like yes. this pole, now. As a matter of fact, it has been vandalized. Best known to them why it is like that. To my own uh, view, it's, I mean, it's like a waste. And it's not good to the situation of, the, I mean, the, uh, due to the situation of Nigeria, what it is now. We ought not to waste things at all. We should be able to, I mean, you know, minimize what we, uh, we have and make proper use of it. So what will you say to the government efforts in providing sick lives? Uh, I would say they are really trying. They should uh, put more effort to it to make, uh, to make sure that the streets are not in black out because it helps a lot. Like uh, when there is no street light, I mean, a lot of things happen along the street light, like arm robbery, uh, cars, I mean, m m uh, car accident, Okada accident. As a matter of fact, Okada, we have much Okada flying this road. So with the street light, they are actually working. We thank government for what they are doing. Thank you.
گفتم ماشین خالی ها دارم Me that he has done it. So how do you feel knowing that your son won? I'm grateful unto God for what he has done. He has done a great thing. And I'm thanking God and I'm also thanking you people that God has used as an instrument for such a time like this to lift us up. I say may God bless in Jesus name. Amen. And so what word do you have for the New Era Foundation and the First Lady of Lagos State? We have been praying for, I have been praying for her especially and also other children have been praying for them that God who lifted my son up will also lift them up. Thank you, Ma. Um, your name? My name is Nkechi Omuka. Nkechi Omuka, the mother of the boy that, the first boy that won, the boy that won for the first part of the competition. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? I am from Moscow. Adeni Gadibola from Government College, Kitsuekwe. Okay, what do you think of the competition? Well, it's great actually and it provides, it provides opportunity to discover talent, actually. So what would you say to Lagos State? What do you say? What do you have? Do you have a word for the, um, for the First Lady of Lagos State? Yeah. I want to tell her thank you, a big thank you to her. And that actually she's trying, that you should, that you should keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Ophili Uju Amaka. I'm from New Era Girls Secondary School. Okay, New Era, the name of the foundation. What do you think of the competition? It was very, very nice and educative. Okay, do you think um, it's fair enough? Yes, it's very fair. The quiz master was fair enough. Thank you. From Monique Bede Primary School, I'm a parent. A teacher. Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. So what do you think of the In fact, the competition is fantastic. I just thank God for the organizer, Mrs. Remy Otinobu, and more grace to her ever for organizing the competition. Thank you.
by saying congratulations. Let me start by saying congratulations for winning the, the primary school category. How do you feel being a winner? I'm happy. I feel happy. Sorry? I'm happy. Okay. And where, did you know you were going to win? Were you expecting to win? Yes, I was expecting that. Then what gave you the confidence that you were going to win? Okay, what do you um, what word do you have for the what do you have for the uh, first lady of the of Lagos State for organizing this competition? I want to thank Her Majesty for what she have done for what she have organized this competition for, and I want to thank her for what she have done. I want to say her went on what she have done. Then your name and your school. My name is David Onka, and I am from Saint Paul Catholic Primary School. Thank you. Second person. Being the first runner up for the competition, can you tell us your name and your school? My name is Bridget Chikudini. I am from Methodist Primary School, Sabaya Valley. Okay, how do you feel winning them, coming second place in the competition? I feel very happy. Did you, well, I'm sure you were expecting to come first. Yes. Okay. Um, what word do you have for the first lady or the organizer of the competition? I want to tell her that she should keep. I want to tell her that she should keep moving on and she should never stop. Continue doing this thing. And for, um, do you think the competition was fair enough? It was very good. Thank you. Tell us your name and your school. My name is Kaka Yafua. I'm from Papa Puma School, Papa. How do you feel being the third place in the competition? I feel good. I'm sure you were expecting to win, but since you didn't, um, you won anyway, but since you didn't come first, how do you feel? Do you feel sad? Yes. Um, what word do you have for the first lady? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are falling on the third position. Do you have any word for the, organi um, the organizers of this competition? I want them to be, I want God to bless them first. And I want them to be doing this organization every year. Okay. Okay. Okay, my son, this will be Chikwebuka. You came. Okay, you're in what school now? Abba Family Awolo University. Studying what? Computer Engineering. Okay, so how do you feel? I mean, being uh, you are more or less like an important personality in the state, personality in the state now. I still feel normal. I do the things that I do before. I don't try to be proud. I, my friends, my former friends, are still my friends now. So it has just the import. And okay, it has helped me in a way that the things that I can I would do before that are debating, I don't do it now again. I because I know people are watching me. All eyes are on me. So that and it has also made me bolder. Um, I understand you were given an award again, so how do you feel about that? I feel yes. a scholarship and considering the fact that this you won the competition last year, you are given an award again this year, how do you feel? A scholarship for that matter? Okay, actually uh, the scholarship was announced before uh, and it was, it was as a result of last year. The governor said it by himself. He said because after the at the end of the governor for a day program, he said because I turned back and said thank you. That was why he gave me the scholarship and the laptop. So I now know why, and I've now put it in my culture to be saying thank you for everything. And I feel proud. Not not that I'll be proud. I feel proud and happy. So so what um, what would you have for the new winner? The new winner, yes, that's. She, ha she has greater things in store for her, that she continue to work hard, don't allow the success to get into her head, she should, in short, she should just enjoy it. And any, do you have any word for the organizer of the competition? Yes, the organizer of the competition, I, I give kudos to them, more power to their elbows, and they should grow, they should find more sponsors, and I know they will find it easily, so I just pray that their work con is, is easier, always. Thank you. Thank you. And the Lagos State Governor? I give a big thanks to Lagos State Government for what they've done for me. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. From Dolphin High School, okay. Lagos Island. Do you feel? Uh, I was very surprised because I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So I couldn't believe it. So I couldn't believe that uh, I can be able to take this position. So I thank God very much, and I know that. I will continue trying my best because it's my best that has given me this position. What we say to Lagos State Government and the organizers? I'm very grateful to them because they are they are really organizing a very good competition, which will uh, help students to improve in their spelling skills and in their oral English. What will you say to your fellow students? Uh, I also I will advise them that they too should. That we should also follow the way, the setup that uh, Nera Foundation has laid down. So that we should uh, help in trying their best in their spelling, uh, uh, in their spelling, in their spelling talent, and also in their oral English. Thank you. Thank you very much. Name is Oshito Imbomiwa, Ojojuga Masku. Where? How do you feel? How do you feel? Mm, I took top position in the spelling competition, but I, like I said, I would have preferred being the first. But things just had to go the way they went. So what would you say to the them. organizers and Lagos State? I would like to say that more grace to their elbow because this is one type of competition that just came up and is really gaining ground and is really making the students do well in their schools. And it, it was really encouraging students in school, so I'd like them to keep it up and more grace to the Bible. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm happy, but I expected him to come first. All the same, I give glory to God, and I know when we are here next year, we are going to be first in Jesus' name. Uh, it's a very big thing and good thing they are doing. I want to tell them to keep the flag flying and to continue with the good work. Do you think the competition, the competition was fair? Well, by and large, it was. It was. Even if we notice one or two human errors, but by and large, it was a fair one. Thank you. It's all God's work and the effort of my teachers. So, what will you want to say about the New Era Foundation? Well, I think it's a very good idea. The foundation is extremely good. This competition is educative. It has taught me a lot. I learned some words that I didn't know before. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of them, and I hope they'll do a better job in the coming years. So, will you say the female winner? Well, I guess so. After all, a girl did win today, but I believe it all depends on how much you know and how well you can do. What about your colleagues? Well, I would advise everyone to read a lot of novels, educative novels, read a lot of journals, newspapers, anything you can lay your hands on. That's what helped me to come to where I am today. I want to be a medical surgeon in the future. How old are you? 16 years old. <laughs> I will say thank God that it's finally over. You know, we, we are grateful despite what is going on in town. We are supposed to be mourning actually. But I'm glad we are able to put some excitement back into the hearts of these children. Because what happened um, yesterday or two days ago was, <laughs> was a big blow to us in the state. But I'm glad that, you know, we are able to put some life and um, joy into the hearts of the children. So what advice do you give to the children, the next two years, they have to work very hard. You can see that last year, co comparing this year to last year, you know it's getting better. Next year is going to be to get better than it's going to be more competitive. So it's going to be very What do we look out for next year? Who knows? <laughs> Just wait and see. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much.